Hey, so I wanted to do a live video. I'd been talking to um, Laura. Um, she's nutrition coaching, and we're, we were talking about um, not seeing the scale move. And um, she made some comments on being afraid of getting on the scale and X, Y, and Z. Um, I'll just say it. So she was, you know, made comments, hate my body you know, need to see the scale move, etc. So that's, you know, it's a pretty common thing that women have. And, you know, it's kind of based on cultural norms. Um, I think that, you know, it's a different, it comes, stems from different things, man versus woman. Um, Laura and I were talking about this, that, you know, I think really the man wanting to see um, fit, pretty stuff like that is mostly just Darwin and their you know, men are totally different in that, um, I think it comes down to, um, the survival of the species, um, the prettiest, cutest, fittest, biggest boobs, boobs for feeding babies and stuff like that. That's the survival of the fittest. I think that's ingrained in them, um, kind of an animal world type thing. But for women, um, you know, I think that we, as women in a culture, we, um, based on X, Y, and Z, how we get there, it sort of doesn't matter, but we get there as far as we're, we don't feel good enough. And so, um, not feeling good enough, we, um, you know, get liposuction and we get this and we do that and, and the swimsuits and it needs to look like this and it needs to look like that and things need to be perfect and, you know, the front cover, the magazines. Who's buying all the magazines with the perfect people in the front? Women. Um, you know, and this makeover and that makeover and just per, you know, being perfect. And so the reason why I'm saying all of this is because we were supposed to re-listen to chapter four, mostly with the idea of finishing the book off well, chapter four, five, and six. And I'm sorry I'm late because my life has been a shit show. So here we go. Um, back to the point. In chapter four, it talks about the things that we do to avoid vulnerability. Um, and so, foreboding joy, perfectionism, numbing. There we go. I remembered them. Check it out. And I do all of them rather well. <laughs> but we were, Laura and I were talking about the perfectionism, right? Um, we hate the body because we, when we look at it naked, it's not perfect. Um, and we don't look at it like, oh my gosh, that body has birthed five kids or whatever. Um, you know, that body can run an Ironman. Yeah, it's fluffy, but you know, it's pretty strong. Um, you know, I would <laughs> learn I had a good laugh. So if you can get past the tan lines um, and you know, that's kind of a crazy, whatever. So, you know, that perfectionism, you know, is it really driving a lot of unhealthy relationship ideas with the body, our body, and then with our, um, you know, actions. And then Laura, Laura was talking about what she was using to... Um, as measures that of success and so you know not necessarily the scale um, and I was you know telling her that you know we really need to yes having other measures of um, being fit and having making success with our eating and our exercising and stuff is smart like you know how you look and naked how's your um, clothes fitting and stuff like that how are you feeling um, she was like, you know, I feel really good when I get done lifting. I do too. Um, still fluffy strong. But, you know, I was encouraging her to take time every day and look in the mirror naked and love yourself with the idea that you can be, I mean, it's a little bit of a vulnerability act to walk around naked in front of your spouse when you have some of you light on your butt or whatever. Um... Because, you know, you're thinking that he's going to judge 
you for having cellulite on your butt. And he's probably not thinking anything like that. He's thinking way other thoughts. Um, but, you know, the acting, act of vulnerability. Um, I put a picture of my swim start from Ohio in my race report that I am going to publish tomorrow. Um, and the, the top half is awesome because the smiles are lovely, lovely, and I'm having a really good, awesome time and connecting with people and being super duper real. And that's really important to me. Um, on the bottom half, you can see just like muffin top and I look at it and it's sort of an expression of everything that I'm doing wrong or not doing right or blah, 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 blah. So, um, you know, this vulnerability idea, you know, being perfect looking perfect in our tri kit, whatever. Um, you know, we really need to recognize that real progress, heat, health, and stuff like that, being whole and rock star awesome, um, part of that is looking in the mirror and saying, I love my body, even though it's not perfect. And being maybe being vulnerable and running around with your sports bra on and you know your tri bottoms and screw the muffin top because you're still a badass um, and um, you know, and, and that's being vulnerable and so if we look at it in that light um, come on Julie she wants to eat the neighbor's dog it's just wonderful um, so that's kind of, I listened to chapter four. I've listened to it four times now. And so um, that's my thoughts that came out today. My poor neighborhood. I'm walking around videoing it with Cujo, who wants to eat the cats and the dogs. Anyway. Um, so what did you guys think of chapter four? What did you really connect with? I connected with it all. Um, and there's just so many things to journal. I was going to share my journal entry that I made last night, but um, just a lot of personal crap. Anyway, so I thought that this was super duper useful idea of, you know, being vulnerable and how that intertwines with our expectations of our self racing. Um, you know, we didn't do good enough in some race because, you know, some expectation that we set or how our bodies look, expectations that we set. Yeah, it's great to want to be fit and the weight need does need to come off to a point. Um, but why are you doing it? Laura hit it right on the head. Why am I doing this? Like, am I, I doing this to prove that I'm good enough and be perfect or am I doing this to be super duper healthy? And part of being super duper healthy is that you love every single little fat cell you got right now. It's okay to want some of it gone, but you need to nurture it, not want to chop it off with a meat cleaver. So anyway, thoughts?